an electron is trapped in a one dimensional box of side 1 angstrom unit find its energy for the ground state and the first excited state that is here we are going to find the energy of the electron in the one dimensional box in its ground state the lowest energy state and the first excited state n is equal to 2 here let me explain you about this one dimensional box which has infinite potential n is equal to 1 is called as the ground state energy of the electron or the lowest energy state and n is equal to 2 is the first excited state n is equal to 3 is the second excited state and so on here the problem is to find the energy of the electron when it is at the ground state and when it is at the first excited state so the formula is en since it is a one dimensional box we have n square h square divided by 8 m a square a being the width of the box or even we can take that as the length of the box or the given side of the box in joules substituting n is equal to 1 that is I am going for e1 when n is equal to 1 you get 1 square h square is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 the whole square divided by 8 into mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 a square is given as 1 angstrom unit is a that is a is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 10 meter then 1 into 10 power minus 10 the whole square so substituting all these you will get a value previously we have solved this problem of 0 0.1 nanometer so here 0 0.1 nanometer is equal to 1 angstrom unit both are the same it is 0 0.1 into 10 power minus 9 meter 1 angstrom unit is 1 into 10 power minus 10 meter so both are the same that is why if you substitute 1 into 10 power minus 10 meter the whole square you will get 6.029 into 10 power minus 18 joule 6.029 into 10 power minus 18 joule this is for ground state energy 0289 this is 289 this is e1 supposingly if the question is asked for express in electron volt what is the way we need to get it 6.0289 into 10 power minus 18 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb will give you previously we have solved the same type you get 37.68 electron volt so we get 37.68 electron volt now the question is also asked for solving the energy of the electron in its first excited state when n is equal to 2 e2 is equal to what will be the formula ma'am n square h square divided by 8 m a square n should be replaced by 2 therefore we get 2 square h square by 8 m a square what is h square by 8 m a square it is already e1 because n square we have taken it as 1 therefore 4 into e1 value 4 into the e1 value in electron volt is 37.68 electron volt so use your calculator you will get 
4 into 37.68 is equal to 150.72. I got 150.72 electron volt. Similar way, if the question is for E3, you need to go for N is equal to 3, you will get 9E1. So, here we get E1 as 37.68 electron volt and E2 as 150.72 electron volt. Look at this problem. An electron is trapped in a one dimensional box of length 0.1 nanometer. Just now I told you 0.1 nanometer is equal to 1 angstrom unit. So here the length is given as 0.1 nanometer. Calculate the energy required to excite the electron from its ground state to the sixth excited state. So what is the question about? It is about ground state to the sixth excited state. What is the energy required? We are going to calculate it. So here same way what we have solved it here is ground state is n is equal to 1. These are the excited state. n is equal to 2 is the first excited state. 3 is the second excited state. 4 is the third excited state. 5, 6 and 7. So here n is equal to 1 is the ground state. 2 is the first excited state. And 3 is the second excited state. 4 is the third excited state. 5 is the fourth excited state of the electron. 6 is the fifth excited state of the electron. The question is asked for sixth excited state. So what is the energy required for the electron to move from the ground state n is equal to 1 to the sixth excited state that is n is equal to 7. So it can be solved in um, two three ways the first way is find e1 e1 just now we have solved in this problem e1 we have obtained using this formula what is the original formula en is equal to n square h square by 8 m a square in joule so we have solved it for e1 is equal to 6.0 289 into 10 power minus 18 joule. In electron volt, we divided this value with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb, we get 37.68 electron volt. Similarly, we need to solve it for, so we have solved it for n is equal to 1. Now, solve it for the sixth excited state, that is 7, that is sixth excited state plus 1 ground state the lowest energy state we get n is equal to 1 therefore e7 is equal to 7 square h square divided by 8 m a square we know that h square by 8 m a square is e1 so we get 7 square e1 what is 7 square that is 49 into e1 e1 value is 37.68 electron volt. So E7 is equal to, take your calculator, 49 into 37.68, you get 1846.32. So I got 1846.32 electron volt. So what is the question asked? The energy required for the electron to move from ground state to the sixth excited state. Sixth excited state. So we get E7 minus E1 which is equal to 1846.32 minus 37.68 we get minus 37.68 we get 1808.64 so we get 1808.64 electron volt so this is one way 
the other way is simply we can go with so first way is find e1 value in electron volt and then find e7 value in electron volt e7 minus e1 will give us the energy required for the electron to move from the ground state to the sixth excited state that is n is equal to 7 ground state to, to the sixth excited state the second way of solving this problem is e7 minus e1 that is the original formula you need to write that is en is equal to n square h square by 8m a square so the base formula should be written e7 is that is 7 square h square divided by 8m a square minus e1 is 1 square h square divided by 8m a square so the common term can be taken out of the bracket h square divided by 8m a square 7 square minus 1 square which is equal to 49 minus 1 it is h square divided by 8m a square if you substitute the value of h square and 8m a square what is 49 minus 1 i get 48 and if you substitute 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 the whole square divided by 8 into mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 a square is the a is given as the length is given as 0 0.1 nanometer so i'm going for 0 0.1 into 10 power minus 9 the whole square if you substitute it you will get 48 into we know this value already already we have solved this equation so what is the equation 48 into 6.0289 here we have in joule 6.0289 0289 into 10 power minus 18 joule so we get 48 into 6.0289 into 10 power minus 18 we get 2.8938 into 10 power minus 16 joule so this is the answer but if you want to write it in electron volt divide this value with the charge of the electron 1.6 into 10 power minus 90 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 I get 1808 the same way I got it 6 4. very good 6 4 electron volt so same equation but in a different way we have solved it slightly different way same formula you get this value even we can go for another way also that is energy required for the electron to move from the ground state to the sixth excited state is as usual here 48 into this e1 value so already we have solved that e1 so in the same way if we solved this e1 value as 37.68 electron volt we need to solve this value again with what we have solved it here in this equation 37 point in this way we need to solve it first to find e1 then we need to go for e7 minus e1 like here and then we get 48 e1 then we can substitute this e1 here 
37.68 electron volt. So 48 into 37.68, we get 1808.64 electron volt. So in this way, we can solve a problem in three different ways.